access the questionnaire today, one of the bits I emailed back round to colleagues was to say, I think we need something around sustainability, about growing, about something. And for me, it's certainly something that I'm interested in. And, mm -hmm. and I think the other bit I would say is, is today's kind of the beginning. And the more gloriously messy it gets, and the more people that are involved, and the more that comes bottom up, mm -hmm. bring it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Uh, can I just ask if when people speak, they stand up and address the whole room? Because I haven't heard most of what's been said directly to you. Either that, or if you could repeat the question. Okay, the sorry, yeah, sure, sure. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Right, fine. Um, I'd like to know how much uh, teeth. Uh, this actually can have. Uh, my experience both from uh, being a member of the GLA and also being a member of uh, London Borough, both on planning elements, is that these aspects of desire from the community can quite easily be overridden. Mm -hmm. In the case of the London Borough, there was a cross party agreement that a particular space that was in heritage and also historical uh, should be kept. That was overridden not only by the uh, GLA itself but also written by central government. Mm -hmm. Regards other aspects of development and community activity within the community, again, before the planning aspect came into force it has now, mm -hmm. there was issues by the community to sustain aspects of their community and develop the community, but again, they were overridden by local government or by national government. Mm -hmm. So that I mean, is what teeth is important. Yeah, about. I mean, it, it's the part of the statute development plan is part of the development plan as you know obviously you know planning applications go to appeal and they could get overturned or not and the government are making decisions all the time on whether planning applications should be in accordance with neighborhood plans or not um, it has become a political hot cake especially in relation to the provision of housing as far as this neighbourhood plan is concerned, we've got Andrew England here. He's very, very supportive. He's yeah. head of planning. Yeah. I think, is that your title, Andrew? Yeah. Yes, head of planning. <laughs> um, all the council, they've been terrifically supportive so far. And I've worked on um, several neighbourhood plans now, and, and I've found this the most supportive uh, so far. But you're right, there's always a developer out there who will legally challenge our neighbourhood plan. And it's why we need a lot of people, and we need... Um, you know, a lot of consultation, we need to get the, the weight of the community behind it. So, um, you know, there is always going to be that road developer who is challenging the plan. Um, but this is a, you know, without the plan, we're much more likely to have development that we don't, we don't want. And I think this, 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 you know, provides us with a few more teeth, hopefully. So.